Well, good afternoon. It's a beautiful spring day today. And I wanted to show you guys something. First of all, I want to mention it's really windy out here, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But I want to show you something that I noticed on the trek top. So now that it's finally spring, I've gotten to the point where I want to take the windows out, right? Now, for a long time, the soft tops have had these little plastic tabs right there that tucks up and under the tub like so. And it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but there we go. See how that basically just snaps in. You've got that tab that rolls up under there. And, and obviously it just holds everything firmly in place, right? Well, the problem that I've noticed is that now that these have transitioned to a hybrid system where they have a zipper and they have the rail system at the top, okay, so Previously, you would just unzip the whole window all the way around and it would be completely slack and loose And then it was easy to reach down here and pull the tailgate bar out and undo this well now you have to do this part first because the top no longer has a zipper so you have to unzip the sides on both sides and then you have to pull all this out and then you have to pull the tailgate bar out and then you can slide the whole window out of its track, right? Well, the problem is because you have to do this part first, there's a lot of tension on the top or on the window, excuse me. And so it's really tight. And so you can see I've got this unzipped right here. But when I go to pull this, see how tight that is? I mean, I'm really pulling on this thing hard. Ugh, and I cannot get that to come out. Now, when I don't have the camera in my hands, I can use two hands and I can yank and yank and yank on this and it'll finally come out. On the other side over here, I ended up having to take some needle nose pliers and kind of pinch it right here and roll it out. I mean, it's just really, really tough. And I'm assuming that this is going to be the case for anybody that has a Trek top. I don't know. Let me know if you've got one of these tops. Let me know in the comments below if you're having trouble with this. But I just noticed this the other day, the first time I tried to take this window out that plastic thing will not slide out from underneath there. Of course, you have to add this when you install the top because that's the part that the tailgate bar pops into. But for some reason, I just, no matter how hard I pull on this thing, ugh, I just can't get it to come out. It's really, really tight and it's just because that the tension is still on the fabric because the top of it is still connected. So this hybrid system of the zipper and the sliding rail, I don't really like it seems like it's making things more difficult and more time consuming than just having a zipper go all the way around. So I just wanted to mention that. Also, the flapping issue that I had back here that I've been talking to you guys about where on the interstate at say 70 miles an hour, it flaps really bad right here. I mean, it just really vibrates a lot. And sometimes if it's a windy day, it'll do it even at like 45 miles an hour. Well, they told me that there is a date code right in here somewhere there it is some kind of a code there and they said that if I take a picture of this and email it to them that they can get me fixed up on that so I'm gonna send this to them today and see what they do to take care of it and I will let you know the results I don't know if they're just gonna send a new window with a different tailgate bar design or what they're going to do I'm not sure but I'll let you know how that goes supposedly they can get this fixed and from what they told me, it's supposedly a small number of these tops that had the problem with the flapping back here. So I don't know, but I'll keep you updated on that. The top itself is still doing pretty well. We've had a lot more rain and thunderstorms and it stays dry. It doesn't leak and it doesn't give me any other problems. Basically, it's just flapping back here on the rear window and the difficulty of getting the rear window out pretty much the only problems that I've had with the top so far. Otherwise, it's been really good. So since it's really nice out here, I'm going to try and get these windows out and I'm going to see if the bikini portion of the top can be rolled up like I was talking about in my installation video. I saw a guy do that with the JK version and I want to try that because some of you guys have requested that to see, you know, can you actually make this thing a fully open top in an easy fashion? So. Give me just a few minutes here and I'm going to give that a whirl and see how it works. Alright guys, so it basically worked. 
You can see I've got the first row completely open because of the Sunrider, obviously. And then the second row is open except for this mesh panel, which you could remove. But see back there behind the seat? It's all pretty much open. And here's the view from up top. You can see down into the second row. Of course, I've got the windows and stuff thrown in there right now. And then there's the first row. So basically it worked. What you have to do is take all three of the rear windows out, of course. And then back here on the rear bow, I had to disconnect the hook and loop sections that are fastened along here. And then you also have to obviously disconnect the parts that snap on with these buttons. And then you have to come over here. Where was it at? Right here. There's a hole for that little Z clip, which is right there. Okay, you got to take those out, which was pretty fast and easy. I was just able to stand down there next to the Jeep and pull those right out. And once you disconnect those three things, then you can roll the fabric up. And uh, goodness, looks like my wife's cat has been up here. <laughs> anyway, you can roll the fabric up and then it just stows underneath of the Sunrider. So this is pretty much in essence what I saw the guy that had the JK version do. He just rolled up the rear section and then tucked it underneath the Sunrider. And it basically gives you a completely open top, pretty much 95% uh, completely open anyway, really quick and really easily with the Trek top without having to remove any of the hardware. So it is possible. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, this is something you could do you know, out on the side of the road or wherever you're at. So I guess it is, in fact, a way to get full sunshine in both rows. Here's another quick view from the back, just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like if you do this. So for those of you who wanted to see that, yes, you can tuck that fabric up under the Sunrider and have a pretty much completely open top. Now, I wouldn't do this out on the interstate or even on you know a really fast highway because there's nothing securing that up underneath the Sunrider. So it's possible it could come out and flap out of there. But I think if you're just doing this around town or on low speed highways, I think you'd be okay. I don't see any problem there because the Sunrider is actually pretty heavy. I mean, it's got a little heft to it and it folds back down onto the fabric. You know, and of course the wind's gonna be blowing that direction. So I think you'd be okay in most situations. I wouldn't worry about it too much, but there you go. So just wanted to show you that and I'll keep you posted on that rear flapping issue, okay? But so far the Trek top is working out pretty awesome. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.